What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where I give you the tips and tricks you need to be successful with SharePoint and Microsoft Teams in 60 seconds, and if you want to stick around for a step-by-step run-through, we'll walk you through it. Today, we're going to show you how to stop end users or members on your site from creating new site pages and from editing existing site pages. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup on my pancakes. I don't care what you heard. Okay, let's go ahead and hop to it. Let's get those timers. All right, first thing you're going to do is you're going to locate the site pages library. We're going to go to site contents. We're going to scrolly scroll scroll to the bottom where it lives. Go to site pages. We're going to hit the three dots right here. We can get to them. Three dots, settings, and we're going to go to permissions for this document library. We got to break those permissions, stop inheriting, and then we're going to go ahead and select the members group, change them from edit to read, and ba bam, you are done. Not sure if we made it in 60 seconds. Nevertheless, we'll go ahead and give you the step by step run through. Before we do that, though, I want to take a minute and say thanks to everyone who's supporting the channel. Thanks for those likes, subscribes, comments, suggestions, all that. And if you want to go ahead and do it now, please, now's your chance. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you can know as soon as new content is available. So let's get on with the step-by-step -step run through. So basically, I'm going to talk you through this real quick before I uh, pop back. So if your members continue to maintain edit or contribute access to your site pages document library, they will have access to be able to do two things. One, fire off a brand new page. Two, fire off a brand new news article. If you wanna stop them from that ha having that ability, all you gotta do is just change their access to read only for the site pages document library. So again, we're gonna go to site contents. We're gonna scrolly scroll scroll. I don't know why it's not up here with the other libraries, but it is what it is. We're gonna go into the site settings, or excuse me, the library settings. Um, another way you can get there is if you are just at the library level here, you got the library open. Again, you just go to the gear icon, library settings, more library settings, and then permissions for this doc library. And I'm gonna re-inherit so you can see what it looks like. So if you wanna re-inherit, take it back to what it was before, you just click on delete unique, say okay. And that goes back to just like it was before but then we want to stop inheriting so that this library can behave differently with those permissions stop inheriting here's your warning you can pause and read and then we're going to select the members right here and we're going to edit their permissions remove the edit and we're going to go with read let's click ok now let's show you how that manifests itself so here we go we've got this user they're a member and notice there is no new drop down here okay uh, we took them to read so they don't have that new drop down for like you see over here of course I am an owner global admin um, nevertheless we'll go back here and we can scroll down and take a look at the news now this behaves a little bit differently it's not as clear-cut people are still gonna think they can add a news article they'll get this far they'll hit new post they can select the type of um, post here all right and then we could say hello but it's not gonna work it's not gonna work if I go post I get an error because when you create a news post it actually fires off a brand new page in the site pages library so there you go hope this has been helpful please let us know what you think in the comments we'll see you next time until then keep on doing the best you can with what you got and remember SharePoint rocks, and so do you. Take it easy, y'all. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup on my pancakes. I don't care.